This is the Fairfax County Public Schools Security Operations yes, sir. Center. Yes, sir. So tell me what we have going on here to help keep Fairfax County schools safe and secure. Well, we have some monitors up here in case we um, have some schools that maybe have had some incidences that need a little extra care and a little extra monitoring so we could pull up the school and make sure that everything is safe and secure for the students and the staff and the buildings. Do we have these monitors uh, online 24 hours a day, seven days a week, yes, or is it sir. just during the school day? No, sir. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We have a uh, uniform security force that patrols the schools 24 and 7. They focus on the elementary schools in the daytime because we have SROs in the high and middle schools. Okay. These are our monitors. Okay. And if we had an alarm, say if a building was closed and maybe we had an intrusion alarm, it would come up on this screen. Mm -hmm. And then that way we would be able to dispatch an officer out to make sure that everything was okay with the school. If a fire alarm is pulled in the school, are you aware of that? Yes, through sir. This? It comes through this. Um, this panel right here okay. and um, we can monitor the fire okay. alarms from here. Do we have a current group of officers who are out and about in Fairfax County yes, Public sir. Schools right now? Yes sir and I know where they okay. are because they've marked out and I've, I've written it down So here. we're going to call them one right now and tell them to come to Gatehouse, is that we right? We could do that, yes okay. sir. Base to 50 Delta. This is Dr. Braybrand, can you respond to Gatehouse please? This center ties in everything from our uh, intrusion alarms, our fire alarms. When we talk about see something, say something, they also get it, the monitors can get it directly here, or we get it through our confidential tip lines, confidential text lines. It all comes into this center that houses everything. So it's clear we are able to directly connect with our schools here in the operations center. Do we have the ability to talk with law enforcement outside of the Fairfax County Safety and Security? We, do. we actually have radio interoperability with the Department of Public Safety Communications. We can reach the police department and the fire marshals. And, uh, in this center, immediately? From this center. Okay. We also have direct phone lines to the Public Safety Communications Center, our own number to call them. Officer Hunt! Yes, sir, sir. How are you? How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. What okay. are you doing out here on the street right now this afternoon uh, in Fairfax well, County okay, to keep well, us safe and secure? Okay, well, basically, though, that we have a lot, lot of call for service that, that I respond to, just like all the other um, officers that work the road and so. So we go to the different schools. The officers are involved with special events. It could be a school field day. could be just a special request from a principal that we need security presence. Maybe there was vandalism. Maybe there was something else going on at the school that they like a security presence. But we do it all the time for... Uh, for special events at any school. So it's an extra layer of support when principals need it. I really appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you. Tom, you too, Officer Hunt. Uh, no problem. Thank Jim, you. thanks again. Sure, thank you. And thank you all. We're really blessed in Fairfax County to have great folks working to keep our schools, our students, and our staff safe and secure. And it's just another wonderful moment to really celebrate the best of in Fairfax County Public Schools.